Anyway, I guess I should look over just in case. Oh, it's a tablet now. This is nice. The victim body was discovered in the dining hall in the old building near the Hotai Mirai. The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. Cool. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poison were detected. Cool. So Byakuya really is dead. Yep. It's a shame. I, I didn't want him to die, so I... I didn't want him to die in this one. But you know, fuck me, right? Damn it, you promised there wouldn't even be one victim. Why'd you end up being one? And now I'll never know what you're were going to t say to me. I cannot talk to the others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distressed in turn for a long time. My life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. And what, in the end, what did he even mean? Could it be? Even so, there really is a traitor, isn't that? Gosh darn awful. Asshole. Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys, it can't be helped if someone like that gets a killed, right? A traitor? No way, just because he said lots of serious things, it doesn't mean he was a traitor. What am I thinking? Monokuma file has been added to truth bullets. Anyway, we need to be carefully examine everything. That's right, I need to do it. If we're gonna survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Okay, now I can actually start fucking doing shit. Under this very table, the Akio was stabbed. First, I should investigate the top of the table. Though the only thing on the top of the table that really catches my eyes is this desk. It looks like an antique lamp and seems rather heavy. Power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out, so. Now it's time for clinch. Gotta do it. I let out a shout as if to encourage myself and get one under the table. Immediately I noticed an unexplainable smell like rusted iron hanging in the air. And during the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze toward Byakuya's body. Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things. But he tried his best to lead everyone. Why? Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now, for Byakuya's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. Oh, there's something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? There's some kind of paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? A bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed him? Hold on. How'd the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Byakuya thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that duraluminum case. It's possible they stole the knife from the case, or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. It has the paint on it. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Good bullet. Night vision goggles, what's this? Looks like binoculars, but why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? <sighs> Hajime, those aren't binoculars. No, what are they? <laughs> those are probably night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? I've seen them in the supermarket on the island. They also stock self-defense kits, too. Cool. If that's the case, did the killer use the night vision goggles to kill Byakuya during the blackout? Huh. His body is clasped face down under the table, as if he was in the middle of attempting something it looks like he was. According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdo abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Damn. Fucked up, man. I already searched everything under- oh, the fucking... Tablecloth? 
Alright, let's do that. Oh, bloodstain. The blood flowing from Bianca's body formed a huge pool under the table. There's a lot of blood. There's blood spattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have spattered, uh, splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there doesn't seem to be any drag marks leading from the blood pool, which means he was stabbed under the table. I'm sure I've investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm starting. To, we're getting closer to the truth hidden behind Bianca's death. So go ask her what the autopsy says. I must investigate my classmate's body. Yes, I'm the one who has medical help. That's why I need to do it. To, to do it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? You're right. I need to calm down first. I'm careless enough as this. It's pretty obvious about it from how you fell earlier. I'm terribly sorry for that. For showing you something so unsightly. Yeah, you made me remember it again. I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. Forget making a fool in front of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Well, I got started by the blackout, slipped on the carpet, and once I was struggling to get back up. It's so embarrassing. Please, please erase it from your memory. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. Sorry. I can't stand it. That's a fucking truth bullet. Fuck out of here. That's one as well. Or at least something to look at. Remote controlled air conditioner. Air conditioner. Could it be? Hey, all of you. Why can't you all act more grown up? Oh, it turned on. Hmm, what was that sound? So it threw the breaker. It overloaded it. This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. And the air conditioner is remote control. Timer is set for 11.30. Pretty sure Bianchi's time of death was around the same time. If so, that means. That mechanical sound before the blackout, it probably came from this air conditioner. My flashes of inspirations aren't as bad as I thought. AC timer. Really this box. Ah, oh, this metal case Bianchi had with him. I believe he said it was made of pure aluminum. The last time I saw it, it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things in this case. Fucking a taser, gloves, key, baton, pepper spray, nightstick, pepper spray, and a goggle a case for night vision goggles. Hard plastic case, but it's just the case and the inside's empty. wonder what was inside. The one thing that really catched my attention is this small key. It must be the key to the other during the room case. That other case was in the office, and all the collected dangerous items were inside of it. The key to that dura aluminum case is right, right here. And it's likely that the murder weapon used to kill Biakio was taken from that case. Which means this weapon, the weapons inside the dura aluminum case, aren't related to Biakio's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Biakio have this dura aluminum case in the first place? The case packed with all the security equipment. Maybe he was being extra cautious just, just in case. No, that can't be right. It's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went all this trouble to be extra careful? I assume. That's Gundam. Oh, Hellhound Earring. Answer my call. This effort, this effort futile as well. Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? It's not a mere earring. It is the Hellhound Earring. Long ago in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Well, this certainly is random. The Hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood, and its drenched blood-red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. Even I have finally tamed the diabolical beast, I've, when I finally tamed the diabolical beast, fuck. Diabolical beast, I did receive an earring to commemorate that event. The Hellhound Earring! So that I may never forget that night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian, I fear that earring at all times. Is that really about a freaking Pomeranian? I understand it's important to you, but for now we need to investigate. Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor. The carpet didn't cover the whole floor, it might have fallen through the gap between the exposed floorboards. <laughs> so that's what transpired. Such a clever little bobble. 
Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked toward the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor. He peered beneath the floor. Yes. Ah, there it is! I found it. Truly, that is the Hellhound Earring. <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. Cool. However, do I? how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Where do I find its uh, tool that I would be able to not reach? Probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up. Give up? What? The world. I meant give up the earring. Summer? Fool, have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose. If the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. But even with those no layers, you still not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something about it on my own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. He seems that earring back by... He wants that earring back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. It would be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. Doing. My hero, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute Biaki is alive and well, and in an instant something horrible, awful ha suddenly happened. Of course I'm not fine. And not only that, but whoever kills him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? And we have to find out who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If, if I had only acted calmer during the blackout, Byakuya might still be alive. This whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Oh, jeez. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Hey, Hajime, forget about what I just said. Got it? Yeah, that's fine. I got it. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I've become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue I, that I have access to. A clue? Yeah. Photos, the ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Oh, yeah. I remember that. Oh, yeah, the pictures. Uh... Anyway, want to see them? I have a digital camera, so I can show them to you right now. Really? Please. Uh... Let's see, it's, it's this photo. Uh... And this one. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but... Uh -huh. Huh? Something wrong. I didn't realize it until now, but right now, before the blackout, Byakuya was standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Wasn't his body under the table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Yeah. Prior to that, Byakuya was standing alone along the wall, furthest away from that table. You're right, that's pretty far. There's something. Everyone's standing position right before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everyone's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. Mm. But would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. <laughs> Got it then. Leave it to me. That's pretty much the only good job I can do anyway. Thanks. Alright, now that's decided. You better work hard on your investigation too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand what's going on? You've got to find out who killed, how Byakuya died. Yeah, I know, but... It's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than she was... than when she was feeling down. <clears throat> hey, Hajime, there's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Byakuya was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. Mm. And if Byakuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Clearly. Well, now that you mentioned it. But by the why was Byakuya's body under the table? Even if the killer tried to hide them, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems uh, finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is the key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout, I couldn't see anything. Although, if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something. Are you talking about her? Now then, where else should I investigate? Her? Oh, Hajime, a moment. Hmm, what is it? When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go to by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we'll, we've 
been told that one of us is a killer. It couldn't, it couldn't, can't be helping someone that's on edge right now. Why me? <laughs> um, you're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a scent familiar to mine. We both honor special feelings toward, ho harbor special feelings toward Hope Speak Academy, isn't that right? Well, yeah, but fine. We're gonna no, uh, going together. Let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit chat. I'm glad it'll be great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what if he said uh, said about us being similar? I don't think I agree. So I guess for now we should search the inside of this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall. I think we should consider this whole build building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout took place at the time. Uh, at the time would have happened throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. Oh, hey, Sonia. There's something I want to ask you. What is it? It appears that only the wall is a different color in the material. And material. Why is that? Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? I mean, you've never seen one before. It's a door that sh keeps shut from... Uh, that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? <laughs> I see, it's like a barrier, just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. It's only done to keep cats from getting in. <laughs> you know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? <laughs> Truly, I'm culturally ignorant. I'm ashamed of myself. I don't know how that's going to be helpful. To the kitchen. Look at this food. Oh, big piece of meat. Okay, nothing. Oh, <laughs> Isn't it amazing that meat is so big? Even I was shocked. Ma, so it's a dish you. fit for a tropical island. I've never been able to get my meat like this in Aoyama or uh, Azabu. Ooh. I've never been able to meet like this in my hometown, much less Aoyama and Azu or Azabu. I get it. You don't have to repeat yourself. It's so big, where did you get it? <laughs> I asked Nakamaru, apparently he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. His bare hands? <laughs> That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. Wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. <laughs> Seriously, Nakamaru is so wild, he's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is near Ayama and Azubu. So wild country things like that, they slip my mind a lot, you know? Uh, I guess this meat has gone to a waste since this awfulness happened right when the party started. The only ones who ate any food were Akane and Pekka, who took some portions for herself. Uh? Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. Well, it's not actually li like I actually believe it, but if there really is a killer out there, I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer. He's scary when he's mad. Party dishes. What else? Yaki must have confiscated all the dangerous items in the kitchen equipment list. <laughs> well, just from reading this through this list, it seems like the knife next to Yaki's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Yaki's body check? <laughs> Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat down. If that's the case, they probably brought the knives in advance and hid it somewhere. Mm. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this uh, kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I agree. Hey, Tara Tara, what's, you, what's your uh, thing? Hey, where were you? Were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Terra Terra? <laughs> that blackout totally startled me. At first I thought it was just in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. Then I heard everybody's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and I tried to find my way to the dining hall. But that place was pitch black too. It was, like, pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have just used that kitchen and the stove as a light? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's impossible. This gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. I see, then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use a, as a light source or something, but the fire's already going, it should be fine. I guess it's not that easy. Terra Terra's account. 
Guess pretty much finished investigating the kitchen. Nagida, let's go. Yeah, sure thing. Then let's go to the room right next to us. The storage room is really dusty and dark. <laughs> My hands were full cleaning the di dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for long. Stacks of clean tablecloths. It looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's nothing strange here. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth. Wait, huh? Hold on, there's something on. Is this a blood stain? A blood stain? Come here, take a closer look. It's too dark. I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking, this is clearly a blood stain. That means this tablecloth is connected to Byakuya's murder, right? <laughs> That tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain. Strange room, storage room, tablecloth. Weird. Are these irons? It looks like they were recently turned on, but why are they three irons on an ironing board? Mm. Just I thought your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Byaki after the blackout, blackout, I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on. Mm. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off. But it doesn't feel kind of, kind of sinister. Sinister. Irons in storage. Room. <laughs> My hands were full of cleaning, so I didn't touch this room. Yes. There's an awful lot of boxes. <laughs> we don't have time to go through each and every one of them. I guess I should leave them alone. Mm. Wise decision. Hey Hajime, how much longer are you going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already. Hmm? I get it, you're right. I don't like that he's like... Forcing, like... Not forcing it, but like... He's pretty protective of that room. Something's up with him. Very suspicious. Oh, what do you got to say? Apparently a great man once said investigation should be done on foot. So that's why I'm using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason, there's, then there's no meaning. Mm. Hey, Hajime, I just realized something. Could she by any chance know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Uh, how do you know? <laughs> so you did hear us, even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, I also have perfect ears. Let's see. If you're hearing it so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Mm. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voices throughout the dining hall, right? You couldn't tell, but who you would have been able to make who, out who's who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to Ibuki. It'll be easy, and it's fried rice with gravy. Huh? Oh, I'll heartily, heart, heartily eat it for breakfast. Oh, heartily. Oh, you mean it'll be as easy as pie, except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. Anyway, any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. <laughs> you should make a metaphor with more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, can you tell us what you heard? <laughs> Leave it to me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite out of you. <laughs> uh, if you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. Stop it, If she, what if she takes you seriously? Um... Let's see, the first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... You, that's right, it was my hero. <laughs> next was Kazuichi's voice, and then the next the, the next next voice was mine. <laughs> God, what a nice remark I made. It's the it's to the point and it has a quite often quite the charm. Just continue. Then there was more voices one after the other. <laughs> Oh, said how. I thought that was Byakia that said how. Oh, 
ブレーカーが落ちたんじゃないですかちょちょっと待ってよ俺ら壁伝いに何とかしてくるからあはあ Alrighty that's pretty much it <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me, give me lots of praise I heard you the first time Seriously don't get any closer Hey Nagato say something to her Hey did something happen? No I was just thinking about what Byakuya said during the blackout What Byakuya said? <laughs> Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell, what's going on here? And this is. Oh,、uh, what do you mean? <sighs> About that. Why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? For now, I can't really say for certain. Ain't that for certain? Well, it's not like I really care. <laughs> anyway, don't, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? <laughs> Then praise me, let me bite ya! God, why are you trying to really biting me? Off me. Buki's account. Dude, I'm fucking racking up the levels. Oh, it's locked. <sighs> This one appears to be inside since it's unisex bathroom. I don't really know who's actually in there. Why? Hey, is someone in there? We knocked on the door, tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but、mm. there's no response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should、uh, give up for now and check it out later. Yeah, you're right. The office. Shinoto -kun. The old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circus breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. Yep, all the way up there. Must be the building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. No, what? It doesn't look. Look like so,、uh, someone did anything to it. Nothing、uh, else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if,、uh, if you use a stepladder, you won't reach it.、Oh. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking, so it's so bad I forgot about that, but. You're right, even with the stepladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach the circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the breakout. Blackout, but who? Yeah, yeah. I did it! God, it's here! You idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who re reset the circuit breaker. By the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Well, firstly, my eyes, eyes work really good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you really want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, my body stretches. You know, I'm very elastic. I'm serious, wanna see? Wanna see a virgin of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross, it's grotesque. <laughs> no thanks, just imagining it makes me want to puke. Oh, really? Such a shame. Still, don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In popularity contest, he'd take first place. The hell. So he's the one who reset the breaker. Well, in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it or set it up to be tripped, they had to set it to be tripped. It to be tripped. This remote control is what is for the office air conditioner.、Hmm? The timer here is set to 11 30. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set at that time? Can't be a coincidence, right? Nope. AC timer. <laughs> I can already tell you doubt me, correct? Hmm? <sighs> However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred in before that time Byakuya, during that time Byakuya was killed. <laughs> the circuit breaker is in the office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. <laughs> Supposed to be here? Does that mean. So I was right, you weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker in the dirt aluminum case with all the weapons in it? Huh? So where'd you run off to on your own? Yeah. Well, that is. Ugh. Ugh. Becco suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? <laughs> no, I'm not just feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. Excuse me? What was that? <laughs> Pekko appears to、uh, the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? Seems like it will be a tough battle. 
A cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pekka wobbled out of the office. Fuck. What happened to her? <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad for her enough for Pekka as it is. What does that, that mean? Huh? I mean, it's cool. She didn't, like, run away or something. Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. It's almost positive. Is that really what it is? The stir aluminum case. It should contain all the dangerous items Byakuya held. <sighs> Maybe we should check inside just to be safe. But it's locked. <laughs> Byakuya had the key to this particular dur aluminum case with us. Check the check it out. I bought it brought it with me, so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take that key without permission? <laughs> It's forbidden to tamper with the uh, crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside the case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. This guy doesn't see feel any remorse. <sighs> see, it's open. Forks, knives, kitchen knives, I'm skewer skewers and various tools are crammed inside. Yeah, there are only four. Uh, I wonder where that fifth one is. But that's not possible that the killer took anything from here. Because the key in this case was inside the case Byakuya had with him. I guess you're right about that. What's your story, buddy? Isn't Pekka the killer? Why do you think that? Well, she wandered off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Byaki after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but I mean, she w when I got here, she wasn't. She was gone. Yeah. I shouldn't th say this too loudly, or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Oh. Pekka's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Byaki. And don't you think she looks that ki kind of ruthless, like an assassin or something, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. How's we cheese account? Well, so oh, then I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going. Yep. Almost done. We have guns are almost everywhere. Mm. Okay, looks like we pretty much finished up looking around the old mm. building. How about we check out Byakuya's cottage? His cottage? <laughs> there might be clues there, so I thought it would be a good idea to check just in case. But I was scared that I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but... Are you worried about the possibility that I might be that danger? Mm. You mean, I am, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? As I thought, you're such a, you're so, you sure are strong. You're definitely the chosen one, chosen by Host Peak Academy. Yes. All right then, let's get going to Byakuya's Cottage. Yeah, I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. The moment I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. What? He needs to go get that earring. ゆかしたに無駄だと誰が言った無理だと誰が決めたあのイヤリングを掴めるとどうしてわかる床下に入れるかどうかによってあの殺人の真相は大きく変わる気がするんだよねそうかそうか under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that what do you mean? Come on, think about it. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Byakuya's body, right? And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then is it possible that the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him from beneath the floor? That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. Even so, I can't think of it, uh, find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's hidden holes somewhere? <laughs> yeah. No, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems we can't get under the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. 
a leaf. Why? Because mm. if we could get under the floor from outside the building, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party also doesn't have an alibi. All right, Buyuhiko. I suspected him too, that's why I was checking it to see if it was possible to get under the floor from outside. Speaking of which, not long ago I began guarding the entrance. Fuyuhiko came to you. Well, he did. What, did uh, what happened, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Oh, hey. What are you doing here? All alone in a place like this? Hmm. I'm standing guard until Monokuma doesn't come inside. <laughs> How diligent of you. No, no. You're not coming to the party? No, no. Hell no, not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They make me want to puke. You want to come to the party, right? That's why you came here. Of course not. It's, I'm just going for a damn walk. What, do I have to report to you every time I want to fucking take a, go take a fucking walk? No, it's not like that, but... <laughs> then leave me alone. Mm. And then he just left. So, what happened? Did he, but So, that happened. But why did he come here? Hold on. He probably wants to be part of the crew, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. No, no. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Huh? When did we start talking about video games? No, no, no. Even though we don't have really, really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt no, him. No. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying that you're glad, but you have no idea who the killer is. <laughs> Well, I guess by now we should stick to the plane and head over to Byakuya's cottage. As long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I will most assuredly reclaim the Hellhound earring from my own, with my own two hands. Seeing as he has no intention of investigating. Thanks, buddy. Here, do you go. Huh? What the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? That's not what happened. That's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? <laughs> Of course I did. Apparently Byaki is the one who got killed. <laughs> so what? What did you say? Do you, th do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm... Whatever, just tell me what you were doing while everyone when everyone else was at the party. Huh? Checking my alibi, eh? <laughs> well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Chiaki said she saw you in front of the old building. <laughs> Nosy bitch. It's true, I went for a walk, but then just by chance I ended up passing by the old building. Are you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence, a coincidence! Alright, I got it. <laughs> Dumbass. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Biakia's thing. Which one is it? I probably should check the map, actually. Oh, it's next to mine. Of course it was. Oh, it's locked. Mm. I guess we need to ask him for help. And so Nagito took a deep breath. Boy. Hey, Monokuma! Ah, did you call me? Nagito, when did you train Monokuma? Mm. Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. There's something we need to want to investigate. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. When I get serious, my after image is unleashed. I can play soccer for by myself as long as I have this clo cloning technique. Though it would be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Biakia's cottage oh, already. Man. This is for the class trial. It's something we really need. Mm -hmm. The class trial? If it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Whatever. Say I've unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Why is it open with a magical spell? It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see. I guess we should go inside then. Yeah, I guess you're right. Fucking, no, not the window. The fucking letter. Or envelope. There's an envelope on the table. Is it a letter that someone sent to Byakuya? There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime, you should check inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. 
Be careful, the first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. This is... Which is why I took it so seriously. Is this a crime warning? No, if it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe... This is why Byakia suddenly decided to throw a party. First kill will happen tonight, because someone made this threat to Byakia. He gathered everyone and went everyone and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought that if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter. Mm. He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Mm. Remember what Byakia kept saying, how he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise? Then why did he keep it in a secret? If he had just told us. Mm. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was just about also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? Mm. If everyone knew what the, was in the letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other, and at that point, there'd be no turning back. So Byakia tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone? Mm. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, whoever sent Byakia this letter also killed him, is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, this could be a prank, and it might be, have nothing to do with Byakia's death after all. What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see, he doesn't want to believe that so one of us could be a killer. But still, we've come all this way here, it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakia. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakia would react, react once he received it, right? I mean, it, it is kind of predictable, since he was like talking about how no one would be a victim. They plan to manipulate Byakia and kill him right before our eyes in that old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? That's fucked. <laughs> Hajime, there's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. Probably. <laughs> Which reminds me, you asked Mohiro for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted her to find out where everybody was standing, right? Just before the blackout. She's probably finished doing that by now. We're... You're coming with me, right? <laughs> Sorry, that's all you. Fun. I need some time alone. I'd like to some time to collect my thoughts. I see. Mm. That's cool. Also, if you're going back to the old building, you, would... you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results of her optometry should be ready by now. See you later. Okay, he was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. It's not the first time to worry about Nagito. There isn't much time left. I better hurry over to the old building. Time for my real investigate, my independent investigation to start. 